Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog! A lot of things going on as of late, so it's time to give you fishing breaks an update. A couple of things that'll really stand out to you right now. The tackle cave here at the LFD household has gotten a lot ex more expansive, and that is because my tackle cave has combined with Dad's tackle cave. A lot of other stuff going on in here as well. And that is because me and OSG are moving in with the parents. Oh yeah, I don't know if any of y'all have been there. Um, tensions can get high. But we figured while we're looking for a home, we'll save some money. And uh, it's always fun hanging out with, with LFD and mom. OSG is in there doing a uh, recipe situation right now. We'll check in with her in just a minute. However, we still have the blue black. I can't even talk right now. We still have the blue back. And I went through the comments and since there were so many comments, hey, go fish it or pass that down. I think what I'm going to do is I am gonna do a video on this, but we'll still give it away. I think now that the springtime is, is coming up, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and plastic bite is gonna be kicking off. We'll do a video with this, the throwback plastic. We'll do a throwback plastic video to see if those things still work. May even go around since I'm here back in my hometown, moving back to my hometown, go back to some of the same places I used to fish this stuff, see if it still works. I don't know, we'll do something creative with that and then we'll give it away, we'll please everybody. Me and LFD are getting ready to go to Comandero. Now if y'all don't remember the videos with me and the rest of the Guggenswa down at Comandero, it was, it's a bass factory. It is a Mondo factory. The best place I've ever fished for big bass. Just consistent Mondos, Mondos, Mondos. Just everywhere you cast, big fish are around. You gotta be ready at all times. I thought it was so amazing. Uh, I told my dad about it and I went ahead and I booked him a trip. Again, with, uh, with Ron Speed's fishing adventure. So. It's gonna be my second time going down. It is going to be my dad's first time going down. And of course, you guys are gonna come along with me with the camera lens. I think my dad is going to freak out when he gets down there. His PB bass is 8.8. Eight. You guys have seen it. That's Billy, he's in my, normally in my office. He caught his PB with me a couple of springs ago. It was also an 8.8, eight. it tied his PB. So hopefully we'll be able to break that. I'm not exactly setting big goals for this trip at this moment. Um, I, I am hoping to break my PB bass on top water. I've heard the top water bite is pretty outstanding right now. So super jazzed up, should be a totally different bite than what you guys saw before. Uh, with me and the rest of the guys so we're gearing up right now for doing a whole plethora of other things hey girl where's the lfd he is, uh, oh he might be trying out his rods oh never mind he's playing with sticks he, I, he's not actually testing out his fly rods is what i was going to say he was testing out his fly rods he wants to catch a bass over five pounds on a fly that should be interesting so literally i'm going through like just tons and tons of tackle. This is always, I, I say this every time, this is the hardest thing about going on a fishing trip is how do I pack? How do I condense with all of this stuff? You know, I, I'm hearing all these different reports and especially right now there's, the bass fishing is hot down there and starting to buy plastics and everything. So here, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Currently I've got just big old hooks, big old swim bait hooks. I've got um, some big chatter baits. Everything's beefed up. Got a bunch of different uh, top waters. Got some mid-sized top waters, some bigger top waters, a lot of things that pause. Uh, I've got big swim baits, hard swim baits. I've got big soft swim baits as well. I've got a whole bag full of those of various different colors. I'm going big worms, big paddle tail worms. Uh, my dad has got the um, big ribbon tail worms. Basically after that, we're just going with big jigs, uh, craws, things like that. So, um, Big O, Steve Parks hooked me up with a sack of the good stuff today. Uh, chartreuse pepper, uh, rage crawls and beavers and things like that. And then, you know, the spinner baits and stuff like that. I still got some of those left. That, that was the, the deal last time. Um, but I don't anticipate that being uh, the big, big pattern this time. The fish are moving up and they're starting to spawn. You can't really see them. Uh, but they're spawning in treetops and things like that. So it'll be a lot of shallow flipping, a lot of jigs. Oh yeah, I already, I left a lot of my big jigs down there. My rods are down there. Um, not my new rods, whole different subject there. We'll get on that later, but it's gonna be an amazing time. So we're getting prepared for that today. 
Now you guys saw the last vlog where we moved all of our stuff up here. We actually had to make another trip and go get another storage unit and we are just spaced out right now. A little stressful. One thing I did have to get uh, with all of our, our meat uh, because of killing the hogs and deer and everything like that is a deep freezer. I've got a lot of fish in there right now. Uh, a lot of the fish is actually from one of the fishing freaks that sent in some stuff and we're going to have that tonight. Appreciate that. Feeding the Rackley family here. Oh, fish on the floor. Don't worry. Quick pregnancy check with OSG here. Reading all of that. <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> wow. I'm such a wife. <laughs> Just getting after it. I like it. The baby's doing good. I had some greens today. I had a really green smoothie. You're not totally stressed out nah. with everything? Not yet. You're in a super good mood. Our little baby in there, little fishing freak, seems to be doing well. Mm -hmm. um, Miss B is doing her thing, just chewing on everything, being a bulldog, doing bulldog things. A lot of the fishing freaks have been been talking about you, been wishing you good luck. I ran into a couple of them today really? uh, when I was getting some tackle at a tackle shop, and uh, they were excited for you. They were like, tell LSG hi. Well, thank you. And, uh, I appreciate that. Everybody out there, I think I speak for most of everybody that's, that's pretty pumped. Let's check in with LFD and see how excited he is. All right, Dad, first of all, let me apologize for uh, all the additional clutter we, uh, we've brought upon you. However, you are benefiting somewhat in the form of tackle and whatnot, additional tackle. Um, I see you've got quite the assortment here. We're going to the biggest bass lake in the world. That's what I think. And I've got the biggest soft plastic I could find. And I've got the biggest spinner baits. I've got my fly rod selection. Yeah, I already told him your goal is to try to catch one over five pounds. How are you feeling about that goal? You think it's gonna go you know, down? Or? You know, I'm a little concerned because I've never caught a bass five pounds or two or three pounds with a fly rod. Normally two pounds, three is pretty tough for me. So I've beefed up my rods and I've got some bigger flies and, and I'm gonna give it a go. Looks pretty good. Looks like some tasty selections in there. What do you think your biggest bass is going to be? Let's make some predictions right now. Let's go ahead. You can do fly in, uh, just regular rod and reel. What do you got? Well, I'm going for a 10, but I think it's going to be a little over a 10. 10-2 10 maybe. 10-2. Okay. Yeah. And, I like that. Uh, fly rod, I'm uh, five pounds. I'll be happy. I'm not going to give him too much more details. I kind of want some of the excitement to come out. I haven't told him everything about the lake, the scenarios that might occur, but the reports have been phenomenal. So, Dad, hang on to your butt. It's going to be a good time. This is my official duty. In the house, I check fish. I'm a fish checker. Check on this lovely halibut. I think as soon as, as, soon as it starts to sweat, like the one that's in front is doing, okay. then it's done. So I think the front one's done. Mm -hmm. now at this stage, we're pretty much done packing the tackle. We did one last run of the P.O. box before we left. We still got a... Still got one more trip to go down there, and that's to actually close on the house. But just wanted to let you guys know right now, the PO box we got we got to shut it down for a little bit. I know a lot of you are probably anxious to send us uh, baby fishing freak stuff and all that. So we're gonna do one last round check uh, here when I get back from Mexico. Anything that you send after that, like weeks from now, like a couple weeks from now, um, it's probably gonna be hopefully redirected or it may be sent back to you. Um, so just FYI, hope you're watching this video right now. If you're planning on sending something, just so you know that, uh, but we still got to do an unboxing on all this stuff as well. Still got to organize my office and everything up here, but OSG is going to be working up here as well. I got two projects right now. One is completed. I need to show you. That's a whole nother video. One is in there being worked on. This is going to be the office for the next couple of of months. I don't know. Hopefully we get a house kind of soon. We're looking. And then my dad likes to collect old lures. So we've got these things hanging around, which I think is pretty cool. I never kind of do any close-ups of this, but um, this is like antique lures, kind of a mix. But these, these are two. That's what I caught my PB shark on, or topwater shark, I should say. And uh, that's my PB peacock bass. He's got a whole bunch of them. Some are actually worth some money. Basically, the plan is on this setup on the new house for the office stuff. It's just have an ultra cool background setup. Bring all of you guys' stuff in. Have an artwork wall. It's going to be really neat. Just got to find that special spot, special place. In the meantime, 
we're gonna be hanging out here. So get used to it. OSG, come on up. Yes. <laughs> and this guy lives on from the hospital. Yes, he's the power fish. We'll break him out when we need power moments. <laughs> there. People were also asking about PO boxes. So I already told them about PO box. Well then, you, you just haven't been around for this vlog. You've been, I guess not. Where you've been doing been? other things. Have I been sleeping? You have I been sleeping. She's been, been sleeping like twelve hours a day minimum. <laughs> Getting great sleep. That baby's growing <laughs> while she's sleeping, it's so that's good. Bedtime. I know, babe. It's been a great interview. Love you very much. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> you want to do a send off? Who says this is the end of the video? I don't know. I, I thought you did. I still gotta go back to my tackle cave. I got Fine. tackle to prep. Back where we started. Now, while you're watching this, I will currently be down there. I'm not sure if, they're ha if they'll have internet or not, so probably going to be out of the loop here for a little while. However, I got a couple of more videos ready for you this week. I'm actually thinking I'm going to get a little pregame in tomorrow, and I might go out with Lunkers TV, maybe get a little jig game on. And the weather's just been doing this here in Texas, it's like... We've had a couple days of warm, and it just goes boom, back down, and it's like rainy. And this whole next week is supposed to be rainy, and that's when I'm going to be in Mexico. It's going to be sweet. I'm hitting that one right. You know, you know when you watch the weather, and you know you're going to be somewhere else, and it's like perfect. You're like, dang, I timed that one just right. That's how this week's going to be. And thank you guys for going over to the merch store and picking up the I Love Fat Girl shirt. A lot of you guys commented, love the shirt too. So um, those are still available. I'm going to be promoting those all month. Anyway, you guys can go check it out. See it. Get you one. Catch you a big old fat girl this month while they're still fat before they lay their eggs in the spawn. And wish me an old LFD luck in old Mexico fishing freaks. I can't wait to take you guys down there. And I'll see you when I get back. Make some babies for the Comandero.